Hey, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be coming back to V-Series. We're going to go over my Thingsaver deck profile. So Thingsaver was a new card from Volume Clan Collection Volume 1. So I decided to build it since I already had majority of the Royal Paladin pieces and Jewel Knights are still good, so might as well make a Thingsaver deck. So let's just go ahead and go right into it. Our starter... Any Royal Paladin starter really works, but I'm gonna go with Barkle for this one. So if uh, your opponent's grade, if your opponent's Vanguard's at grade one, uh, when you ride on top of this, you get a quick shield. And of course, when you ride on top of it, you draw a card, like every V-Series starter. So now we're gonna go right into the grade threes, starting off with our four copies of Seeker, Thing Saver Dragon. So it's got a lot of uh, Legion nostalgia still left behind on it. So I like that a lot about the card. So what Think Saver Dragon does is when you place it on the Vanguard Circle, you count a plus one, you search your deck for Blaster Blade Seeker, call it, and the Blaster Blade Seeker gets 10k for each of your force markers. So the deck kind of swings either way. It implies you want to do force one just so you can stack force markers on your van, um, but you can do force two if you want to be really aggressive as well. Second skill is at the end of the battle, this unit attacked if you did not ride this turn. You Soul Blast 3, choose 4 cards from your drop, return them back to your deck. See what I mean by the Legion aesthetic. Search your deck for a Thing Saver Dragon and you ride it. So that also implies that when you use the skill, you ride it, you counter blast 1, search for Blaster Blade Seeker, call it, you get another attack afterwards as well. So Thing Saver's got like a kind of slow start to it, but when it goes off with the uh, Jewel Knight support and the fact that Blaster Blade Seeker gives Thing Saver a crit when it's called, does give uh, Thing Saver a lot of pressure, even though it's a little bit slow. So we'll go on, talk a little bit more when we get there, but let's continue on with the Grade Threes. I'm running three copies of Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley. The Jewel Knight engine, as it is for the a lot of Royal Pilot Index, is still really, really good. Uh, Ashley's skill, both of the skills are van or rear, so at the end of the battle that it attacked, you Soul Blast 2, search your deck for a grade 2 or less Jewel Knight, call it to rear, and you then you shuffle. If this is on the Vanguard Circle, you call two units instead of one. So if it's on Van, it still does good stuff. Uh, Multi-attacking, five attacks, and the fact that you can have a bunch of force markers on this on rear, swing, call another unit on top of this for multi-attacking, really great card. Second skill is Vander Rear. When your other unit is placed on top of this unit's circle, counterblast one, that unit gets a crit. So if you want, you could uh, break ride with, <laughs> get it, because you know, Ashley break ride, uh, counterblast to give Van a crit if you want to do it that way. But since uh, Blaster Blade Seeker gives the Van a crit anyways, so that's kind of overkill. But if this is on Rear Growth Circle and you call it uh, Jewel Knight on top of this, you can counter blast to give it an extra crit, help keep up the pressure. So Ashley's just an overall really, really versatile grade three for the deck. So then we're gonna go into our grade three triggers. So these are Heal Guardians, which were introduced in Clan Collection Volume 1 and 2. So every Heal Guardian does the exact same thing. Uh, the first skill is when, when this is placed on the guard circle from hand. If you have not ridden to grade three yet, you can do one of the following, which is either give your Vanguard 10k for the whole turn, so that's the turn, so if you're on a grade 2 Vanguard, boom, give it an extra 10, so that's a 25k shield, and now your Vanguard's at 20k for the turn. Or, you choose one of your opponent's units, and it gets minus 2 crit until the end of the battle. So if they're swinging with their van, you do this, it doesn't matter how big it is, you give it minus 2 crits, so the only way it's going to hit is if they pull off 2 crits back to back in their twin drive. The second skill is when this is placed on rear from hand, if you have no cards in your damage zone, you put the top card of your deck into your damage zone. So prevents damage denial, but that doesn't really happen as often in V-Series compared to premium. So that skill is more premium based, I would say. But that is it for our grade threes. We're now gonna go right into the grade twos, starting off with a classic, Blaster Blade Seeker. So Blaster Blade Seeker's skill is when this is placed on van or rear, discard a card from your hand, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row and retire it. Then choose a vanguard with Seeker in its name and 
it has to be grade less than or equal to your opponent's vanguard, and its original critical becomes two. So that means that it doesn't increase the crit value, it just, you know, becomes two. So it'll stay that way for the rest of the turn. And then as second skill is at the end of the battle, if this unit attacked, if you did not ride this turn, you put this on the bottom, you draw a card. So that kind of helps you. So like if you don't have any Blaster Blades, Blaster Blade Seekers left in your deck, and you're trying to do the Thing Saver turn, swing with this first, put it at the bottom, draw a card, Thing Saver skill, you re-ride a new Thing Saver from deck, Thing Saver's on ride skill, call a Blaster Blade from deck. So there's a little bit of uh, some little recycling synergy going on with this card as well. So, but what's nice is that the minute you ride Thing Saver, you're basically gonna call out Blaster Blade as well, discard a card, give Thing Saver a crit, so now you got some pressure there. So, Blast Blade Seeker is a pretty decent card. All right, now we're gonna go on to the next grade two, which is four copies of Explode Jewel Knight Lily. So, it's a Jewel Knight and it's a grade two, so you wanna search it out with uh, Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley's skill. So what this does is when it attacks, you pick two normal units from your drop, you put them back to the bottom of your deck, Soul Charge one, this gets 5K. So because both Ashley and Thing Saver use a hefty amount of soul, having cards that help you soul charge is really nice. So the fact that um, Lily is a Thing Saver support card as well is nice for the deck. Second skill is when your other unit is placed on this unit's circle, it gets an extra 10K. So if you're doing more multi-attacking or you swing with Lily and then you use Thing Saver and you call Blaster Blade on top of this, now this gets an extra 10K from being on you know, there's, there's, there's things you can do with the with that skill as well. It's also nice that if you ride this, you can give the Vanguard an extra 10k when you ride on top of it. So, Lily's an overall really good card, but the biggest thing about it is that it gets an extra 5, refills your deck with targets like Blaster Blade or other Jewel Knights, and it gets you soul. So, for sure a staple card if you're running the Jewel Knight engine. Next up for grade 2s, we're running 3 Livero. Lilro is one of my favorite cards in V-Series in general because of the way that its skill is worded. Van or Rear, when it's placed from hand, Cannon Blast 1, search for up to one grade 2 card, call it to open rear, shuffle. If you don't have a face-up card in your damage zone, you can Soul Blast instead for the cost. So that means that in a deck where you're getting a lot of soul from the soul charging skills, you can use that Soul Blast to fill your board if you don't have the Counter Blast to pay the cost. So. Overall, just a really great card. Can search out whatever target you're looking for, either Blaster Blade or Lily, just for like a beat stick to help you soul charge. Lilro is just a great card. It's also a great ride target. You just ride it, boom, get a grade two. Easy. So we're only running three copies of it because for our final grade two, I'm taking in one copy of Loading Angel. So what Loading Angel does is at the end of your turn, if you have five or more units, you counter blast, move this soul, you draw two. So it helps you fill your soul. It's a target for Livero if you want to call it out. And you only need five units. So that includes your Vanguard, meaning you only need four rear guards. So easy to pull off. It's searchable, fills your soul, draws you cards. I figure, you know what, it doesn't hurt. Throw in a loading angel. <laughs> but that's basically it for our grade twos. We're gonna go into our grade ones now. So we're gonna keep the Jewel Knight support going. So I'm running all four copies of Charging Jewel Knight Morvidus. So what Morvidus does is act, you counter blast one, put a normal unit from your drop to the bottom of your deck, soul charge, and you pick a jewel knight rear guard or a unit, and it gets 5k. So helps you get soul, helps you refill your deck, makes your jewel knights a little bit bigger. So it's a, still a helpful card, but also it's a target for Ashley's skills. So if you want to call a booster somewhere, you have that option for the deck. Um, the second skill is when your other unit's placed on this unit's circle, you draw a card, making this a really great ride target. So you ride this, you draw a card from Barkle, you go into a grade two. Now with more of his skill, because the unit was placed on the same circle, you draw another card. So it's a great ride target, and it's a Jewel Knight, so it's a target for Ashley's skill as well. So I like having more of it at four. Next up for grade ones, this card's a great card for Thing Saver. Knight of Exemplary Sword, Lucius. 
Uh, this was a card that came out, I believe, in set um, VBTO3, maybe VBTO4. No, VBTO3, that was definitely it. Um, great card for the deck. So what it does is rear auto. When your grade three or greater vanguard is placed, you move this to soul, draw a card, and then call a card from your hand to rear guard circle. So because Thing Saver's skill activates during the battle phase, if you have a, a Lucius on your rear guard circle and you do a little boosty boost, you can use Thing Saver's skill, write a new one from the deck. Because it's placed, you can call out a Blaster Blade. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Pull out Blaster Blade, and then with Lucius' skill, since you wrote a, van, wrote a Grade 3 Vanguard, move to Soul, you can call a card from your hand. So now you have a booster for your blaster blade, or you know you can call another attacker. So gets you more attacks during the battle phase, refilling your soul. Um, Lucius is a great card for this deck. Um, so you just throw it down and you get a free boost, re-ride, fill up your soul, call more things. So helps extend your turn. So I love this card a lot for Thing Saver. So next up, we're gonna go into some pretty traditional cards. So we got Laurel Knight, um, Sisyllus. So it's our grade three searcher. Um, both, pretty much all of our grade threes are really great to have in hand to set up. So any target you find with Lucius is a great card to add to your hand. So the first skill is if you have no face up damage, this gets 5K. Second skill is when it's placed from hand, look at five cards from the top of your deck, reveal a grade three, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. And if you added a card, you discard a card. So this is great, even if you have Thing Saver in hand for the ride, you can use this to look for Ashley, so you can kind of do a little bit more pressure, uh, more multi-attacking, so I would say Sisyllus is a great card. And the fact that the skill works when you ride it, it makes it also a great target besides Morvidus, so that way, you know, you have a way to get some advantage during your your ride turn. So all the great these searchers are great. I feel like most V-Series decks are running them at four. So this is it for our grade ones. I love this card for especially this deck. Uh, Knight of Going Alone, Herald. So Herald's skill is when your grade two unit is placed other than from your hand during your turn, you move this to soul and that unit gets 15K. So units that call grade twos, we have Thing Saver. So when you ride it during the battle phase, ride it, call out Blaster Blade. And obviously we have Ashley. So when you swing with Ashley, you use its skill at the end of the battle, you search out a great two or less jewel knight. So now your new targets are Lily and Blaster Blade Seeker. So not only does this card fill your soul by the fact that you called something moved to soul, but you're giving it an extra 15K, making it especially Blaster Blade, even bigger than it already is, considering all the force markers you're getting from riding Thing Saver. But also you can make Lily pretty big too on top of the 5k that it's gonna give to itself. So this card is great. My only thing about it is that it's kind of wonky. It doesn't really help generate anything for the main phase to set up for your turn. But when you do throw it down for that battle phase, just to make that one grade two super big, it's a great card. Plus, fills your soul, helps you up to set up for the next turn if you need to. So, really, really like Herald for this deck as a like a two of. So, definitely think if, if you're playing Thing Saver, at least run one of this card. It's really, really fun. So now we're going on to triggers. Um, we're doing a pretty standard ratio. We're just doing our four draw PGs. PGs are great. Draws are great. Draw PGs are great. <laughs> Um, then we're just doing our eight crits. So I ratioed it a little different, but we got some uh, classic Royal Paladin aesthetic going on here, but it's eight crits. They're all vanillas um, because we're not going to be running the Sentinel crit, um, you know, and we already went over heals because we're running heal guardians. So those were our 16 triggers. So to kind of talk about what the deck play style is, I would say it's to kind of take that first turn with Thing Saver kind of slow. You're obviously going to pull out the Blaster Blade. 
um, give the the van a crit, but like also like don't just go straight into the Ashley turn. Like, you know that's what that's why we're running cards like, you know, Livero. Call a Livero, get another grade two out. Maybe you're gonna call Loading Angel just so that you can you know have a field to build and soul to, to plenish up for the next turn, hand to build defensively, but you're not gonna go super aggressive that first turn that you ride. But the minute that it comes the next turn when you haven't rode, just go, just go for it. Fill your soul, swing a bunch, swing with Van twice, swing with those extra blaster blades twice, call that Ashley, get two attacks from that point. So there's a lot you can do with this deck and I really like how toolboxy it is. So uh, I have yet to uh, play against Miles or Jose with this, but I, in my personal playtesting, I feel like this deck has been a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. So whoop, let me switch around so the, the Legion art matches up. There we go. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching these deck profiles. Um, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, just leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.